So that's how you feel about the mother who violently cut her daughter's hair on TikTok for views. You said, y'all realize that girl could have ended up in a worse situation. Y'all forget how corrupt CPS is. That's the same thing as saying, well, she hit her with a hammer when she could have hit her with an axe. Yes, CPS is corrupt. And it's the mother's own fault if CPS does step in. Because she's the one who violently cut her daughter's hair and posted it on the internet for millions of people to see. She knew the risk she was taking when she posted that video. Now, let's talk about the effects of hair and body shaming and public humiliation of children. So when you forcibly cut your child's hair or force them to gain weight, lose weight, or publicly shame them, you are blurring the lines of consent. You didn't ask for consent. When you blur the lines of consent, this victim is not going to understand when they need to get consent and when they should give consent. They're going to have trust issues, anxiety, PTSD, socialization issues, and possible eating disorders. Did you know the trauma from hair and body shaming is very similar to the same trauma from being SA'd? I want y'all to really stop and think about that, okay? Think about how you felt when your body was violated. And imagine you're putting that same feeling, that disgust, that trauma onto your own child. And then you're going to put that on the internet. The abuser is violating the trust between the parent and child relationship. The child is going to feel like, if I can't trust my mother, my parent, who can I trust? Nobody. Now you got trust issues. Let me give you an example, okay? I went to school with this girl. Her stepmother was horrible. She would force all four of her stepdaughters to dress alike every day. She would whack all of their hair off into a bowl cut. They couldn't pick out their own clothes or shoes. She would come to school to make sure they didn't eat certain snacks. Even looking through the trash, through their lunch plates. It was so embarrassing for these girls. My friend was the oldest sister. And when she started her period, her stepmother's abuse got worse. Her stepmother would intentionally make them unattractive, get jealous that their father gave them any attention, force them to binge eat as a punishment, force them to drink water as a punishment, and humiliate them in front of the class if they got a bad grade. She would buy them nice clothes and then nitpick an argument just to take them back, which is also a form of financial abuse. The stepmom thought the little brother was gay, so they admitted him to a mental hospital. She would buzz cut as a punishment. So, of course, these girls now have eating disorders, trust issues. The oldest sister can't eat in front of a soul. But every one of these sisters have cut their dad and stepmom completely out of their life. You may be wondering, why do they cut their dad out? He didn't physically abuse them. Because he never defended them. He never stopped the stepmother from hurting them. Even after she drug the youngest daughter off the school bus and publicly disciplined her, humiliated that girl in front of everybody on the bus. Because the bus driver made a wrong turn. The stepmom accused the daughter of telling the bus driver to go past their driveway so she could sit with a little boy. The abuse has long-term effects. 